All right, today we're going to talk about on TE or ICE, the concept of multi-planar reconstruction, MPR, okay? So that's what it stands for, MPR. So it's important to understand what this term means. So the key word here is this one, reconstruction, right? Reconstruction is, means that you're constructing from something else. Well, what are you constructing from? Well, you're constructing actually, let's give you two different anatomies, mitron, tricuspid, and then we can draw a parallel, a 2D image, right? Remember, you need to have two sets of images to construct a three-dimensional images. So back, if you haven't watched my other video, take a look at what we go in deep dive on the two images, which is for Mitro, give the bicomishural view, right? Remember, this is left extra appendage, this is lateral, this is medial. And then when you explain, it's gonna be the alveolar view, posterior anterior. In terms of tricuspid, let's go review. Okay, this is the alveolar inflow view. So here will be posterior. This is the anterior. Aortic valve member is alveolar on here, and then this is the pulmonary artery, right, or alveolar teeth. Okay, so this is the aortic valve here. And then when you explain that, that'll be your kind of reverse four chamber view, right? So this is the septal, this will be anterior or posterior. Okay, so these are the set of working views. So you need to make the reconstruction from your anatomy, right? Your target anatomy. So you have to make the crop properly, because otherwise you could have a lot of extra stuff that you don't need, okay, number one. Number two, you have to have a really optimal image of this 2D X-plane view, because as I mentioned before, you are reconstructing the 3D multiplanar MPR off the 2D. So you need to make sure this is as optimal as possible, because otherwise, when you reconstruct, you're not going to see a good quality image, because when you construct the resolution, it actually goes down, okay? So this very important, that's just one thing that people often say, well, I'm gonna just do an MPR and, and, show, and show you, but you have to empty out the right raw images to start with, and the proper anatomy. So for the example, if you crop the box, a little bit shift it, and you do your MPR, you can kind of you know reorient, but it's more work for you. So you, you wanna just get it right the first time, okay? Same thing as 3D on Fox. So for example, the 3D on Fox is the same kind of concept, right? So you do a 3D on Fox, you have to crop off a 2D image. So when you do that, if you crop too much, what do you happen? Let's say for example, atrial SML, atrial um, STR, right, huge atrium. If you crop too much atrium, when you do your 3D, you're gonna see too much atrium, you won't see the valve, okay? The other thing that you wanna make sure that is important to, to know for MPL is that if you have a device there, the device has to be within your crop box. What do I mean by that? So for example, let's say you're doing a tier, right? If your device is up there, you crop your MPL, you're not gonna see this device because it's out of view. Does that make sense? So you have to bring this into your view, even though it might not be the proper location orientation, if you don't bring this into view when you generate your 3D, you're not gonna see the device. So same thing here, let's say for T tier or TTBR, same thing. If it's something out of the crop zone, right, remember, right, you're not gonna see it. So that's that's very important to, to, to think about that because you have to bring the device into view to be able to see it. Just like, just even the standard 3D on Fox, right? In mitral, mitral tier, we do it all the time. You have to bring in here, then you do your gripper check, right? And, you do, and then you go 3D. Why? Because if your device is not, is up here, you're not gonna see the 3D on Fox. You don't see anything, it's blank. Because you cropped out of the view. 
you have to go here to be able to see it. That's how you know what the orientation is. Is it like, is it like this? Is it rotated? Does that make sense? Okay. So now let's reconstruct this, right? So now obviously you can learn how to do that on echo. Do, do it with this one. So, again, okay, so now you have your four panels box here, okay? So, just to keep it standard, I think you've seen a lot of uh, videos out there that talk about uh, MTL. So, this is box is always the 3D, meaning the 3D on box. Okay, just to keep it simple. And then, if you think about it, this would be the anatomy that would be the equivalent of the biochemical X-ray. Now, you're not going to see the whole box, right? Remember that. So this is lateral medial, okay? And this is going to be your posterior anterior. This, remember, this is now magnified, right? And then this will be almost like the equivalent of a transgastric view, okay? And then this will be your 3D on fault view for the micro. Okay. So now with the tricuspid, it's going to be similar. Okay. So this will be more equivalent of a transgastric for axis. This is transgastric for axis. This is a Magnify inflow view, right? Out of the inflow view, so this is posterior, this is anterior. Okay, this is now septal and either anterior posterior, depends how where you are. Okay, and then so here, just to going back to orientation, this is remember we do 10 and 2 orientation. This is T, this is A. Okay, so here the transcript will be the same. Remember now the tricuspid might not have uh, just three leaflets, might be more leaflets. But we know that this is the septum here. Okay, so we orient the same way as the three D. So uh, roughly like this. Septal, posterior, anterior, and then same thing here. So the aortic valve is gonna be here. Okay, so which whichever machine you use, it's the same principle. Okay, so this is now kind of the master layout that I want to show you to be able to understand the principle of it. So for mouth for MTL for micro, this is the working view. Okay, this is basically the bicomical view. This is the either the grasping or, or perpendicular view. Okay, so let me just write down here. So let's talk about mitral because it's the more straightforward. So once you have the crop here, you can now basically reconstruct, and this is a reference. So you need to think about where your crosshair is going to be to identify the anatomy that you're targeting. Okay. So if you're going to have your perpendicular box like this, right in the central, it will show you here, and you have to make sure your line is at the target. Okay? Remember, this shifts, right? You can crop however way you want. If you crop with a Cuban trigger, you're not going to see the leaflet tip. Okay? If you go a bit too high, you're going to just see, see the endless. So, depending on what device you're using, if it's here, you want to be able to see the leaflet well, but if it's uh, more of a 
TMDR with an annular kind of uh, contact of deployment, you need to see the annular landmarks. So, give you an example here. Okay, so why do we bother with this? Why don't we just leave it 2D? Okay, so I don't want to erase this because I don't have a lot of space, but let me just show you. So, this is like it's going on 2D. Okay, so we, we talked about in the previous uh, lecture that when you stand up your by Thomas show with the apex at six o'clock, you do your sweep like this, right, with your ultrasound beam, okay? The problem is that this is, works great, right, with central pathology, right? Or if your target, if you're just let, picking four quadrants, like for example, in certain TMBR, you just need to know one, two, three, four targets, and then you just draw an imaginary line, okay? And then that's your landing zone. But, for example, here, the pathology can be different, right? So, for example, if it's a lateral or medial pathology, when you do your beaming across, okay, it's going to be skewed, right? When you do your beaming, it's going to be an oblique cut. It's not a perpendicular cut. So, MTR, what you can do is that you can actually shift that crosshair box completely perpendicular to your grasping plane. Now, how do you know you can do that? You use your 3D on cross to show, okay? So when, you know how they do all these vector and changes? So when you do that, okay, and then you shift across, so for example, if my target is here, right, very medial, you're gonna beam medially, it's not gonna cut across at that exact perpendicular. So what you need to do when you do your MTR, which this why is so useful, you are now sh cutting like this. Okay? So let's say my device is like this. Right? Is that correct? No, right? It's wrong. So you need to orient your device like this in this 3D MTR view, such that you see that you know, the arms will slowly disappear and then your arm falls, you know, grasping you, you, you show up here in perpendicular. The common mistake people make is that the orientation of the device is not correct, is wrong, and then they empty out of that device. Okay, so give me an example. So, if your device has this orientation, which is not correct, and you empty out of this, with the cross section, you see exactly perfect alignment. Okay? But your grasping is still be totally off because you're not respecting the zone of cooperation. So what you ask the imager to do is like, don't follow me because my orientation may be wrong. I want you to show me on the MPL view my target anatomy. And based on that, I'm gonna come to you and rotate properly so you see it. Okay, does that make sense? So, so we've done a few cases now where we actually leave the MP out to cross it here, so we see it here, and then we go to the target. That's very important. Whether it's lateral, medial, you can even do it central. But central is just easier on 2D, but you can absolutely do it in 3D. In fact, for TMDL, you have to do it in 3D. Okay, so I'll give you an example. So if the device is somewhere here, like this, you'll see it here, okay? Don't empty out of this device because it's not correct. Right? Think about this is my device. Okay, on this view it's like this. Right? You need to empty out of the actual anatomy. So when you adjust your device or steer your device, you'll see it is completely perpendicular. Okay, so you need to tell the imager, don't follow me. Okay? Keep the anatomy constant where the target landing zones are, so that we come to you. And remember, we have velocity to help to guide us. Does that make sense? So, MTR is based on two principles. One, the image quality of the 2D has to be good. Otherwise, this will be very hard to see and very messy, and you're struggling and you'll be frustrated. Two, the reconstruction has to be based on the target anatomy that you're going after. 
not the device itself, especially the device is mount oriented. Okay, so same thing with tricuspid now, right? Okay, so, and it's even more complex because there's more than one zonal co-optation. So when we do this with the tricuspid, the same thing. So easily it's right in the center. But remember, we might want to do zip and clip, right? Or we might want to start for three because there's a lead there. So you need to make sure whichever device here when you do your rotation, right, that you already have your target. Let's say we're doing AS, okay? So you need to do your reconstruction in this plane, right? Because your device, you want your device to be like this, okay? So same thing, we early in our experience made the same mistake, okay? So our device is here, our device is here, it looks good, we see it, okay? And then we MPR off the device. And then guess what happened? We were actually on this transcaster, remember transcaster feels very important, right? For transcaster, our device were actually more like this, which is not perpendicular. Okay, you understand? So we keep grasping and off the MPL. MPL, you see beautiful images of the clip arms, right, and of the device because it's based on this reference, right? You know, you can MPL, remember, off anything, especially if you MPL off the device, you're going to see this, right? So that's going to be wrong. So you keep, we could not grasp until we realized when we took a look at transgastric, it was off. So we had to adjust our MPR to the native anatomy, like I fear on 3D, for example, so that you are at the optimal orientation. So transgastric for tricuspid is very important for orientation. If you do MPR with the device oriented in place, make sure you use a transgastric view short axis to orient the, the device first before you actually do the MPR reconstruction. Same thing with the mesophageal view. Okay, remember when we saw the geo view, you do see the transgastric view there. Okay, but don't do it off the device, do it off the anatomy, and then you can see immediately whether you are mal rotated or not. Remember, you can use fluoroscopy to approximate the orientation, but not the actual exact orientation. You still have to adjust that. And only once your orientation is optimized, then you take the parallel cell on floral. So this is very important in terms of you don't want to misinterpret your orientation by thinking your device is already in the optimal configuration. Okay? So that's that's very important.